What is up YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists, welcome to On The Bench Repeat, the series that you put on in the background whilst you hobby or paint along with me. And I've got an uh, absolute ton load of stuff on my bench. I've taken a few things off, not many. I added some last time I was here, um, but yeah, I've got, I've brought Lysander back to the bench because I'm going to work on him over here as opposed to um, on the other work bench because I think the painting snippets I need to concentrate more on the the others production line um, whereas him, him I want to have a little bit more just a little bit more concentration on you know see as we see how we go <laughs> um, I thought I had do you know I thought I had some Bugman's glow here don't know what I did with it. I must have, uh, yeah, bypassed it, as well. I was going to say, and I did. Uh, Bugman's go. Some things I can work on. Um, I don't know what to do first. To be truthful, do you want to have a look at the bench? Let's go. See, I got all these sandbags to um, dull down with some matte varnish. So I might get that going briefly before I start. I think that's what I'm going to do. Matte acrylic varnish. Um, I think I've got another one on the go. I've got this one. So this is the Paint Along series. As I said, you... you um, if you're new to it, you basically paint along and hobby along with me. Um, kind of like a what you do on like a sort of like a sort of paint and chat type of hangout or live stream. Except this isn't live, and uh, but that's okay. I mean, I have done live streams in the past. You you guys know that. But this is basically what it is. You just put it on in the background whilst you're doing your hobby. We get stuff done together. I talk about various stuff. And if you feel you want to, if I say something you might want to comment on, then please, by all means, just leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll either get back to you on here, or I'll answer it on, um, or address it on a P and Q. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's my Q&A series that I do. Uh, once every couple of months or so, kind of special occasions these days. I have toyed with the idea of bringing it back on a more regular basis, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see on that one. Used to be every week. I can't imagine doing it every week now. It's just, uh, I can't imagine having that much free time. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I used to. I used to do it. I used to really enjoy it, too. But, um, maybe in the future we'll do that again. Who knows? Who knows? I can't predict the future. That's the thing. It's the exciting thing about it, isn't it? What's the exciting thing? And uh, so, yeah, so I've got these sandbags on here. Now, these are primarily for my bolt action games that I will be doing in the future. I figured I needed some uh, a bit more scatter terrain. Just something I could throw down easily on the table and uh, not have to worry too much about it. I've got this ruined farmhouse um, that came with the Band of Brothers starter set. And I also had one that came with a D-Day firefight set, I think it was. I had years ago. When I first got into bolt action, then I sort of came out of bolt action. And now I'm getting back into it. It's it's a... Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a seesaw with me, actually. But no, seriously, at the time I just couldn't afford um, bolt action and... Warhammer. I chose Warhammer. It's just so awesome. 
it's what got me into the hobby so I stuck with it it helped me through thick and thin and I you know my loyalty lied with that so that's what I did might not, might even run out of um, I don't know I was gonna say I might even run out of uh, matte varnish but might have enough for this because my other sandbags are for the most part for the most part dulled down with the matte varnish see um so i've got some scattered terrain so i want to learn the game or the second edition whatever it is of bolt action which I'm doing with my Bolt Action Maneuvers series as well, going through the rule book, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I want to do it using just the components from the um, Band of Brothers box set, you see. I think that's a good way to do it. I think, you know, I think so. That way it won't confuse me too much with extra components or um, units and I will learn a little bit more each time. Like for instance, I have seen tank cards. Um, and do they do they come in the tank boxes? Do I need them or are they in the book? Is that where I get the stats? You know, I mean... It's a little bit of a minefield, excuse the pun. <laughs> oh, knocking over my other stuff here. I think I must have another bottle of matte varnish, otherwise, why didn't I order a bottle? I must have another bottle somewhere. Must have a new bottle, that's all I can think of. Got to. Otherwise, there's no way I would uh, not have ordered it. There we go. Oh, I've been watching uh, Torchwood a lot lately. I think nearly at the end of season one, I'll be starting season two soon. Got a couple more episodes to go yet, but uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it though. Really, really enjoying it. That's that, right? Okay. Sandbags done. Oh, I've just discovered another monk. Put him to one side because I will transfer him to the box later. Oh, let's do all that figure. Um, right, what am I going to do next, guys? I'm, I think I'm going to work on these. Um, or am I going to go on Lysander? I'm either going to do these guys or Lysander. <sighs> I mean, I think Lysander could go on his base now, but I want to actually I want to paint his cloak before I do his um, put him on his base. But before I do his cloak, I want to do his skin, or at least get a a color down on his skin. That would be preferable, I think, for Lysander. So I've got his uh, shield here too. Hmm. Oh, that's tricky, that's tricky. Well, what do I need? I need, first of all, I need some kitchen towel. So we'll get that out of the way. And then clean my brush off. This is an old GW wash brush. These old GW brushes, I love them 
especially the wash brushes. It's about eight years old, this brush. This is just normal household soap for those of you that don't know. I'm not using any special brush cleaning soap. Um, it's served me very well over the years. And as you can see, I'm still using these brushes. Still got them, still have them. I've got a cup of tea with me today, by the way. I need to break out the palettes. When I say palettes, I mean coffee mate lids. That's kind of what I use these days at the moment. Uh, oh, I'll put one there, shall we? Uh, we'll go with the good old Bugman's Glow. And why not? Perfect. Okay. Bugman's glow. That's nicely thinned down. Oh yeah, that's nicely thinned down. Nice indeed. So when my sandbags are done, I shall put them in. I've got a really useful box uh, that I'm keeping my bolt action and stuff in. I will need to really useful boxes eventually and then eventually again um, a box per army so it's going to it's going to expand like that you know okay so um so captain Darnuff lysander i did some work on this fellow the other day Filmed a painting snippets. I did all this augmentation. He's got on the side of his face here. I ordered another book about Seton, the place where I want to live. Essentially, it's the place where I want to go back to. Um, I've ordered another book, a copy of what I've already got, because it's so good. My mum is going to love it, because she loves all uh, thinking about the old days, and, that, and um, it's going to really help her. So my mum has got a little bit of dementia, and um, it's good for her to remember the olden day stuff. And... Uh, I keep her mind as occupied as I can. Sort of engage with the past rather than fretting about remembering the present or you know yesterday or whatever. Just think about the past. Why not? She does think an awful lot about the past, as as don't we all? Uh, you know, when we get older. Did some painting earlier today on the house, uh, on the front. There's like a pole, sort of like a scaffolding pole, which holds up the uh, little porch thing on one side. I rubbed it all down and just painted that with a coat of hammerite. I'm going to put another second coat on because that's what it recommends for bare metal. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. Do that tomorrow. Looked at a few more properties in the season this morning. There's a few different ones on the market, which is nice. Yeah, I think this dude's going to be cool. These pit fighter types. Well, they're going to, although they look similar in aesthetics, uh, as in the actual plastic looks as sim similar they're going to be representing people from all around the world 
different parts of the world so the color of their skin was going to vary drastically isn't it so that's why I'm doing a very Caucasian fellow for this as well it's just a base coat for the Acadian flesh tone as well I love the first base coat so you probably don't have to worry too much about it do you Slap it on pretty much. Then we'll put a right little flesh shade over the top of that. There. Oh, guess what I watched last night? Because my daughter's never seen it before. I thought she had, but um, apparently she hasn't. Um, young Guns <laughs> with Emilio Estevez and um, Charlie Sheen and uh, Lou Philip Diamond and all that rest of them. Can't remember the names, but some tea here. I think Ooh, a nice cup of tea. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. We're gonna do um red click I'm I think you're doing a blue one for him now. Hmm. The more I think about it, the more I kind of wanna do the blue. I'm gonna try it. On the other side I'm gonna do the blue. I'm going to some flash gets yellow later for some um, we'll do some edge highlighting I think at the moment still laying these uh, base colors down I want the crag blue on his um, shield uh, his cloak because he's got it on his shield and he's got it on he, he's uh, he's an imperial fist kind of derived from ultramarines sort of more or less I might do the other side of this cloak corn red though Yeah, but kind of cool. But yeah, watched in Young Guns. It's been. Oh, he's got some blue on his boot. Then he's get rid of that. Okay. It's been absolutely years since I watched Young Guns. All right. I forgot how good a movie it was. I'm just trying to get into some awkward places here. He's got some rope um, doodads here, holding on to some stuff. So let's go over those. We can go back over them again later, it's not a problem. Yeah, I want I want that tie to the ultramarines though, I really do. Shows his um, 
Well, to me, it shows his uh, loyalist nature. There. Yeah, I think of corn red for the other side though. I'll contrast the shield then, but the shield will also match that. I think I'll do the underside crack blue as well. Well, no. These little areas. I don't know what all this stuff is on his back, but uh, I'm sure it's important. There. Really pleased with that. I want that um, fist to be gold as well. I used the glorious gold. I think it was glorious gold I used on the other imperial fists for their emblems, but. Um, Glorious gold. Hmm. Yeah. He's got Balthazar gold on his um, shield there. But I'm wondering. Maybe Balthazar gold for his gauntlet thing here then. Yeah, maybe. We'll do that. Balthazar Gold, come on. Glad, I'm so glad I bought these new looping brushes. Still a tiny touch of airbrush in it. There we go. Ooh. That uh, was a Reaper Bones model that was balanced precariously in its packaging, I hasten to add, on the side of my bench. Because, yeah, yet another model that's going to be put, put together <laughs> to add to my bench and chaos. It's alright, we're getting there, we're getting there. Well, I mean, once my lizard men are done, that'll clear a huge amount off my desk, you know, it really will. Right. I'm enjoying painting Lysander, so I'm just going to continue painting him for a bit, if you don't mind. Why would you mind? It's just a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... He's going to have a few different golds on him and around him. That's really cool. Really cool. That's an in-joke, by the way. For me to say, really cool, is an in-joke. Only two people in the world, other than myself, understand what that's about. But if either of those two people should happen to watch this, they maybe hopefully can have a chuckle. Because this is really cool. Really cool. <laughs> uh, maybe I should call, hey, maybe I should call this the really cool episode. Yeah. It. I won't tell you about it too much. Suffice to say, it happened. It came about several years ago, and uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it involved an exhibition at the Plymouth Guildhall. 
but I'll say no more. I'll put a wash on this then, and then uh, I, I don't know. I might highlight it up with a lighter gold, or go straight to like a silver type. Highlight Stormhouse Silver, something like that. Maybe I don't know. I think that is it. I hope we get to watch Young Guns too soon. I haven't seen that film in a long time either. I would really like to. Balfazar gold to yeah so what are you guys working on and how is it going for you I hope it's going well hope your week was cool a little bit of a stressful week but it's okay it's all uh, it's all good for um taking steps to go and live in Seton that's what I'm going to do to get there if that's what I'm going to do then so be it I absolutely love my Seton books that I bought though I was saying in another video, I can't get over how much history there is attached to the place. I mean, obviously, everywhere's got history. Yeah, we know that. But there's a lot of really famous uh, events and incidents that took place there, going back to, like, the Roman invasion of England. And, yeah, I, I just find it incredible. very first uh, holiday camp in England was opened in Seaton called Warner, the Warner Holiday Village. I remember Warner's. Yeah, I think my brother worked there when I was a kid. I think he did. I'm not, I'm not entirely 100% sure. I'll ask him next time I see him. I can't bloody remember. I really can't. I bet he knows people that did though. If he didn't work there, he you know, some of his friends would have worked there, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. Oh, one thing I used to love, absolutely love when I was a kid in Seaton, was going into the local snooker halls. I wasn't allowed, really. I, was, I don't know how I got away with it, you know. It was like no children signs everywhere. But uh, I did. <laughs> Just get into the snooker hall. Just to throw the snooker balls around the snooker tables. You know, I couldn't play I wouldn't have even been able to reach the height of it, let alone be able to play it. But, uh, yeah. There's a lot of gongs there. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking... 
I'll do some of them different golds, that's what I'm thinking. Lots of eagle emblems and, you know, the quillers and all the rest of it. So I've still got a lot of training to do for my job. And it's going slow. Um, not that I'm slow, but uh, I, I'm still having IT issues. <laughs> let's just put it. Uh, let's just leave it at that. IT issues. So it's slow going, but you know I'm getting there gradually. I will claw my way up. <laughs> now. Hmm. See, I really don't know about these uh, fist emblems and uh, skull emblem there. Oh, the shield. I just don't know. Screw it. We're going to go with the shield. Balthazar gold. Try and make this the last Balthazar gold gold I use. I'll tell you what I am anxious to, not anxious, uh keen to do when I go to see it is try and find like any old teachers or anything like that if I would even recognize them they used to teach me uh, And yet the more I look at this dude, the more gold he gets on him, the more I'm liking the Balthazar look. Because it's got an older feel about it, hasn't it? Yeah, you know it makes sense. Pete, do it. So it's a good job keeping him on this little uh, lid at the moment as a holder. Makes it so much easier. I mean, I do want him on his base, but uh, I also want to be able to get to all the areas I want to with ease. Our new bathroom will start or commence end of the month. Week commences in the thirtieth, I believe. So wish me luck for that. It means I've got to go to the gym to go and get a shower. You know, it's only for a couple of weeks. It's just, uh, yeah, you just got to get it done. Once it is done, you know, it's going to be so worth it. And it's true, it's all about making the best life we can for ourselves here. All the Balthazar gold and now that. Yes, yeah, so there's a couple of properties we looked at today that we, we could move to now. If we sold our house here. But, um, yeah. The more time goes by, of course, the better the better position we will be in to be able to make these purchases and decisions, and as as we'll have a better um, method of uh, or a better um, more leeway, more scope, whatever the word is.
and we'll look look at some properties that have been on the market quite a while because we might have a bit more um, bargaining power with the the owners of ones that have been on the market for a long time because they clearly have overpriced themselves. Is literally all the gold areas on him. Okay. Nearly washed out my brush in the wrong pot. Oh wow, we're at 42 minutes already. I can't believe that. Let's have the rest of my cold tea. I think, wow. There he is. Mm-mm-mm. On the bench with Pete. Yeah, so these are an hour long. Well, they're about, you know, time I finish uh, editing and all that good stuff. Who knows? <sighs> Who knows how long the video's gonna be? It all depends how um, able I am to be cognitively with it, you know, I guess. So, yeah, so, ooh, let's have the tea. Looking at this, um, sandbags here. Far too much varnish been applied. Just gonna get rid of some of that, otherwise it'll go all frosty. So nice sander then. Oh, yeah. So the other side of his cloak then. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do some corn red, I think. Corn red is like the ooh um, oh, word bearers red. Oh stuff it, yeah, we'll go word bearers red. I mean corn red's all very well. Uh, we'll go word bearers red. Dark. It's like you know. Oh, has he been? Has he been out in the field too long? Has he fallen to chaos? No, he's not. He's wearing those dark colours. It worries us, like it did in uh, Star Wars, where Anakin wore the dark colours, and it worried the other council members. Cause, you know, it's like dancing a bit close to the dark side. Word bearers red. It's a very brown red. This a very very brown red. I really do need to finish my tea though. Gives my sand a little bit longer to dry in it. This is the first time I've not had coffee and I'm on the bench in an age. Right, so Lysander. Gonna get your cloak painted on the other side. Yes, we're going to watch a movie tonight. If we do, I hope, I do hope we watch Young Guns too. That said, if we get to watching it early, we can watch other stuff. We started watching it so late last night. Do you know, and then it'll be Monday again already. I'll be like, ah. 
did good stuff today though um, on the house you know painting the front porch area and um, my wife was um, trimming the hedges out there we, we cut the grass we swept it all down we washed the cars well she washed the cars I I was still doing the painting of the pole thing and rubbing that down um, yeah so that's good yeah 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 so I just got to get this bit in here I'm sure you understand Turn him up another round another way. My mate said he almost bought a, a game for me in a charity shop back along because he wanted to see me restore it to its former glory because you know he knows I do that sort of thing. It was like some sort of almost like a Sabutio game, but it wasn't that type of thing though. It was called Wembley, I believe. Not there. There. <laughs> yeah. It's nice and quiet at times, isn't it? <laughs> I try and edit those uh, areas out if I can, but, um, you know, sometimes. Sometimes I miss them. Sometimes I do. We've done loads on Lysander today, and I'm really chuffed with that. I really chuffed with that. Gonna gonna need some. Actually, I could do the the back pouch thing in this colour too. I think it's a sort of pouch. I'm really not a hundred percent sure. I'm really not sure. Thinking about Seton, I know I top and change uh, topics, and I go back and forth a lot. Thinking about my old school there, which is houses now, my old primary school. Then they moved uh, the primary school just after I moved to Plymouth, actually. But then I would have been in, uh, would probably have gone to Axminster Secondary. Yeah, I think I'll just, that makes it, <coughs> ties it all in, I like that, that's good. Okay, well, I think I'm going to do a bit of um, Abaddon Black with his hair. Rhinox hide, Rhinox hide, I think. Rhinox hide. Touch of water. Just there was just a small area. Just got to get the edge of his mohawk here. There we go. There. I think we're having a salmon tonight for our tea. We're having a late tea because we had a late lunch because we were working on the house and so on. So that's why that's going to be. Um, but there's no reason why we can't start watching a movie earlier. I think. 
Alright, so Lysander. D D D yeah. Right, I'm gonna leave him there for a moment. He's done an awful lot of good stuff on him. I was gonna do some edge highlighting on him. Oh shall I do it anyway? Alright Lysander, you're not out of the woods yet. Want some flesh gets yellow then. Okay. We are going to do some edge highlighting, it would seem. Yes, yeah, so I'll be back to work on Monday. Yeah. It's amazing how quickly it comes around, isn't it? is done here well edge highlighting of course always always takes the longest of time doesn't it yes it does hmm See, he's um, this is the grim, dark look here that Lysander is um, going to be sporting. So, hmm, that's okay. You got to be very, very patient when you're doing edge highlighting. I find. When you try and rush it, that's when you make mistakes and then you sort of hate your life. And yeah. Go along with the edge of my brush. Just trying to pick out that edge. Oh, I don't know. I. I <sighs> Awkward angles. I was planning on doing bolt action today, but you know, hey ho. I've got some tanks to do, but I don't have any more unit order dice. Uh, really, I should concentrate on the box set. <laughs> I think I encountered this phenomenon last time of not liking doing the infantry as much as perhaps I should. Oh yeah, this edge highlighting. Captain Darnaf Lysana, I hope you are worth it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he will be, I'm sure he will be. Oh, it's just a matter of getting the right position. 
position to highlight him. I'm planning on seeing my mum in a couple of weeks' time as well. And, um, I'm going to take up the book I've ordered for her. She's going to love that. And that is going to be great because we're going to, we're going to have some great conversation, I tell you. Talking about Seton. Oh, yeah. And if my sister's there, which she will be, we'll have much to talk about. My brother might even turn up and he'll he'll be interested in the book as well. They'll all be interested in the books. They, they all used to live in Seaton, you see, when they were kids as well. So it's it's going to be a real trip down memory lane, isn't it? For everyone concerned. Okay. Just got some more, a little bit more highlighting to do. Uh, we'll be finishing soon. I don't want to go on uber long. I'm already over the hour, but I won't be after I've um, edited, so I'm not too worried about that. I'll just do these last couple of lines and then. Right. No peak. To do a bit more. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm definitely leaving it there now. So, glasses off, wash my brush out, zoom out, and then around to me. Like so. Let me just adjust the camera uh, view screen. There we go. Well, I didn't expect, honestly, to be working on Lysander pretty much the whole video. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, I did this other doodad skin. That was only that was only really because I wanted to use up the um, Bugman's glow. But yeah, no, I'm I'm super chuffed with how Lysander is coming along. Um, yeah, I won't go ape on the edge highlighting. I don't think um, could go around with some lighter stuff. I might do just one more. That's flash gets yellow, or maybe some dawn yellow just on the real edges, the very very edges. But yeah, I want to get some shade washes on and stuff like that first and work on the other areas. Especially these goals, there's a lot of gold on there. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> enough of that. I want to say thank you very much for joining me and being with me on this, uh, this, uh, this time of hobby. Uh, which is the weekend and it's, it's what it's all about now. Yet you realise now my... Um, and I'm still not into the pattern routine yet, but it will be a thing that I record these actually on the Friday. And I'm hoping it will be the Friday, you know, in advance, uh, at least one week in advance. But we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, but these are still a, a, a roughly a week in advance, but they're just not on the day. But Friday is the day. Oh, I might even think about moving on the bench of peak to the weekend. That would be something, wouldn't it? Ooh, I've triggered a thought in my head. Might be thinking about doing that. Mm. If I do, I'll I'll do a, a short update video uh, on the channel and let you all know. Anyway, uh, I'm sure you. I'm sure none of you mind what day it goes out on. <laughs> um, I'm sure none of you are like chomping at the bit waiting for Friday because On The Bench With Pete comes out. But it'd be nice if you did. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thank you. I just, just thank you so much. Uh, I hope I can convey my enjoyment across to you. Um, yeah, weird how that went. These On The Benches, they're not planned, they're not scripted. Not, I mean, most of my videos aren't anyway. But it just didn't go at all how I thought it was gonna go. What can you do? <laughs> thanks for watching guys remember all brushes to all please like dislike share subscribe 
check out Patreon, all that other good stuff, and I'll see you on another video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.